had a girl. I got my team for the day. We're gonna start working on this stanchion. Uh, we're gonna be building a milking stanchion for a cow. Let's get started. We got a long day ahead of us. You ready, guys? Yeah. Let's yeah. do it. You ready? You ready? Oh, <laughs> Let's go. You might have a full-size jersey. You might have a mini jersey. So the best thing you could do is go and measure your cow. And what you're gonna to wanna to get for the stanchion, you wanna get the length. You wanna get the height to her neck. You want to get the height over her back and with a cross. And that way you can make sure the stanchion is wide enough for her, that the stanchion is long enough to contain her. You can make sure your head gate is low enough for her to stick her head over and tall enough for her to stick her head through. So right now we're going to go measure the cow. Mm -hmm. so if we put that horizontal at three, isn't that what you call them? Kids. So this is our, one of our deck pieces. We're gonna use two by six lumber, nice and sturdy for the weight of the cow. There you go. Awesome. So what I like to do when I'm actually working on a project like this is I like to take the time to, and it's a little bit crazy sometimes, but line up where my screws are gonna be so that everything looks really nice because this is gonna be a visual piece in a sense. You're gonna see it, but also then you know you have it spaced out evenly. You know you're not gonna get into trouble. And so that's what I like to do. I like to mark my actual screw point. And this is why you measure twice, cut once. So, if you ever heard that adage, when I was teaching school, I even had people say, I cut it twice and it's still too short. That's why uh, Austin homeschools his kids. Keeps them away from that element. <laughs> We're gonna start laying the two by six decking on top of the four by fours to make our platform. Now this platform is solid, it's square, and it's not going to change because we got it all locked in. Team A over there is going to be cutting deck boards, just boom, 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 and then we'll start laying them, and uh, we'll have the platform done in no time. Can you find me up there?
We are all done with the platform. Got our three four by fours down solid and all our decking screwed to the top of it. The decking is all two by six. So we're gonna take some lunch, a little rest, and we'll be back at this project later. What? Later in the videos? Like, or later in, later in days? Probably both. Let's go get some food. The platform is all done. The next step is to build the frame up. The frame consists of just four corner four by fours coming up. We're gonna attach them to each other to make it really structurally sound so it can't get knocked over. And then the last piece of this entire thing is the head gate. We'll save that complicated part for the end. Let's work on the frame. So we're using these big screws. They happen to have a Torx head, which is really good. And they have these nice fat washer heads. They are self-drilling, but even though they are self-drilling, because of this whole bit of shaft here, we're going to pre-drill to allow it to uh, make our lives a lot easier. So we just picked a drill bit that's slightly smaller than the uh, diameter of those, and we're just going to go ahead and drill uh, two pilot holes. And that's it. So we'll go ahead, we'll get these started, and then from there, we'll uh, go ahead and get it lined up on our boards get everything plumbed up and we'll be good to go. I'm gonna work the level and monitor for plumb and he'll suck it in and make sure we're flush at the bottom. Yep, so our four corner posts are up, or uprights. And now we have this piece here, a two by six, that we're gonna use to uh, span across the top and give that a lot of strength. We're gonna use these structural screws to attach them. Uh, I think we have a shorter version. This may be it in my hand, I'm not even sure yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and mark and pre-drill those, and that way we can hold them up, get them going in there, and we'll be uh, good to go. And this is, you know, going a little overkill as far as being really precise. But we just want it to look really nice quality when we're done with it. We want it to look like we actually took the time to build it right, which we did because we want it to last. So hopefully someday when these kids are taking over for us and we're uh, out fishing and... Uh, I'll be the one out fishing. Well, you'll be milking a cow. We'll be napping. No, I won't. We'll be napping. I'll be fishing. <laughs> well, anyhow, the next generation takes over. This will still be standing for them, and they'll remember that they helped us do this, but they also, we put a lot of quality into it, so... What quality? We're going to put this on the inside. So this is the back end of our stanchion where the cow is going to walk into from the outside yard. Now we're going to put a piece across here to actually strengthen and secure the top now that we have both of these top pieces in. While Uncle Bourbon's working on tying in the back together, we're going to start tying in the front. Uh, this begins the first stage of what will be the head gate, the part that clamps the cow's head into the stanchion and it keeps her in place while you milk her. Well, we cut. Now we'll tie in the back. All right, we have just a few more pieces to finish up on this frame. Uh, as you can see, we had a water balloon fight, things changed. Uh, we're gonna finish putting up some side supports here, and then in part B of this video, we're gonna show you how to make the head gate. In the stanchion, 
If you're milking a new cow or a cow who doesn't like to be milked, it's good to have a piece of wood or something going across to keep the cow held on the side so they don't move back and forth. A cow who's a good milker doesn't need that brace across the side. Just a head gate would be enough. So what we've done in our stanchion is we've put one of these brackets here. These brackets are made to slide a two by four right into. It'll be nice and sturdy. It'll run all the way down the side of the stanchion. If we have a new milker or a bad milker, we can put that in and protect us from the cow moving sideways. But our cow ladybug is a great milker. She doesn't need that. So for her, slide it out of the way and it's one less thing to work around when you're milking your cow. So we're gonna put these in. That is the frame. The frame is done. We got, as you can see, the four corner posts are up. The top is secure in the back and on the sides, up top, and then in the front, down below, the head gate will tie everything in. Congratulations, you made it through part one of this build. In part two, a video will be releasing very soon here on YouTube. You'll see how to make the head gate and finish this up nicely. You'll even get to see the stanchion used. If you like this design and you want to build this yourself, but you feel like you need a little bit more help, there's an extended version of this video in the Homesteady Pioneer Library. In that version, we take a little bit more time with you. Uncle Bourbon walks you through a lot of the steps, how to square off your lumber and make sure the frame is perfectly square. Using a circular saw and a square, the square is actually our guide. He tells you what the dimensions are for marking and screwing it all together. Right now I found the center of the board, which we know is three feet, so it's 18. He also shares a lot of good carpentry tips with you. That, and let the blade, uh, the motor come up to speed because all that rotational force is gonna wanna torque. It's just a little bit more in depth for those who need a little bit more help building this stanchion. There's also a complete lumber list and tool list along with the dimensions of all the lumber, what you're gonna to wanna to cut them if you wanna build this exact version, the one that we built here. You can gain access to that video for free. You can become a pioneer for free. Try it out, uh, click the link that you see pop up here. Your first month is free and after that it's five bucks a month. In addition to this course, you'll be able to take all our other master classes on homesteading, listen to the bonus podcasts. There's a lot for homesteady pioneers over at thisishomesteady.com and that five bucks a month is a huge help for us in producing this show. Try it out for free and get to watch the extended version of this video by clicking that link.